So here we have an items array, and oftentimes in JavaScript, we want to be able to take our array and present it to the user in some readable way. And there's a lot of ways to do this, but there's one that I don't see many people doing, and it's actually pretty useful and I think works very, very well. And that's going to be to use this international list format object. So we can create a new one of these list formatters, pass in a locale, in my case, English, and then this object with a style and a type. In this case, we're going to do long and conjunction, but I'll show you the other options in a moment. And then what we can do is we can log out the list formatter dot format function and pass in our array. So this items array. And what this is going to output is apples, bananas, and oranges. So you'll see we have comma separated values and the word and before the last value. And that is from the conjunction. But if we did instead disjunction, and we ran this again, you'll see now it turns to an or. And if we simply did unit, then we would just get the comma separated list. But OK, let's go back to conjunction and we can also change the style. So if instead of long, we simply did short, then it changes to the ampersand here. And if we did narrow, then we're going to get nothing and we just have the comma separated list again. And while there are other ways to do this, I think this is the best way to do it, especially if you have multiple locales. So for example, if we go back to long and we change this to ES for Spanish, you'll see it does this in Spanish instead of English, which is very hard to do with custom code.